Hey everyone, pro-abortion people make really bad arguments. Here is one of them. So how many of the 2.5 million homeless kids have you adopted? How many of the 12 million starving children are you feeding every day? How many of the 400,000 kids in the foster care system are you um, supporting? How about you spend more time worrying about the living children that are suffering in this world instead of forcing more people to be born to rapists, thieves, and assholes? So this person's argument is extremely dumb in several ways. Let me explain. He is suggesting that people who are against dismembering babies are hypocrites if they don't adopt all the children. So let me get this straight. You aren't allowed to oppose a person's murder unless you personally feed and clothe that person? Am I not allowed to oppose the murder of random homeless people on the street unless I personally take them into my home and provide for them? This argument, based on the assumed hypocrisy of the pro-life side, is already ridiculous on its face. I'd like to ask this TikToker how many homeless kids he has personally adopted. I'm willing to bet that the number is somewhere around zero, which means he is actually the hypocrite here. You are allowed to be against murder even if you don't personally adopt every unwanted child. But this leads to another point. The idea that pro-lifers don't care about born children is just laughably false. Pro-lifers adopt children and care for the poor all the time. Pro-lifers become foster parents all the time. My local church has an entire foster care ministry dedicated to caring for foster children. So pro-lifers do care about children after they're born. We just also think you should not be allowed to murder babies in the womb. The last thing this TikToker says has some pretty disturbing implications. He says we should stop quote-unquote forcing people to be born to rapists, thieves, and a-holes. Listen, I do not think that people should be rapists, thieves, or a-holes, but the solution is not to just murder children whose parents might be bad or poor. I know plenty of people who were poor growing up and who had bad parents. They are still happy to have been born. Basically, what this guy is saying is that poor people are better off dead. How about instead of advocating for murdering babies on TikTok, you actually practice what you preach and take care of those who are less fortunate?